Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 24th to June 30th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, one more shuffle. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week, please. Thank you, spirit. Let's see, Aries. First card we have is Ace of Cups in the reverse. We also have the Magician. We also have the King of Wands. Someone is upset that someone is upset that they don't have your love anymore. Someone is upset that they don't have your love anymore and someone feels powerless. They feel powerless to get your love again. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they don't they don't know how to get your love back. They feel powerless. They feel um, defeated. They're out of ideas is what I'm getting with the magician in reverse here. They're, they're out of ideas in regards to how to get you back or how to, how to convince you, how to reel you back in, how to reconnect with you. This person feels a lot of passion for you, king of wands in reverse. They feel a lot of passion and desire for you but they feel like you're not giving them any love. They wanna tell you how they feel, but they're too scared of looking weak or appearing weak in your eyes. They don't wanna look weak. Hmm. All right, Spare, Spare, what can you tell me about the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week, please? So I'm getting like a high priestess energy for you, Aries, because I feel like your energy is not really showing up. Uh, Nine of Wands, you're in defense mode with the Nine of Wands. You're very guarded, you're very um, defensive here, you're, you're protecting your energy. Tell me more about the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week, spirit. So, like I said, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you're in high priestess mode, which means that you're being very quiet. You're um, <clears throat> you're like in hermit mode. You're retract you're retracting your energy. You're being distant. What's the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week? Uh, Four of Cups with the Temperance card. You feel like this is someone who you need to avoid? Yeah, you feel like you need to avoid this person because they get you out of balance. Whenever you deal with them, they, they make you feel unstable. Okay, let me look at the Nine of Wands. Spare, why the Nine of Wands in the energy of Aries, please? Clarify the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Three of Swords. This person already hurt you or broke your heart or disappointed you. 
And that's why you're in this guarded energy. You're, you're keeping to yourself. You're, you're staying away from this person. There could have been a third party situation that disappointed you for some of you. Some of you feel betrayed by this person or deceived or um, taken for a fool. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in reverse connected to Aries, Spirit, please. Ace of Cups in reverse connected to Aries. Six of Pentacles. So you feel like there's a lack of equal give and take between you and this person. You feel like this person is incapable of... Um, reciprocating what you bring to this relationship you feel like this person's incapable of reciprocating that you feel like you give more than they give and you don't want to keep doing it you don't want to keep doing that anymore because um kind of looks like you've already experienced getting hurt by this person. So I feel like you're you're not doing anymore. You're not giving more than, than you're receiving the way you were doing before. Now you're just not giving at all. All right. Let me look at this person's energy a little bit more. Spirit, tell me about this person's energy towards Aries for this week, please. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Aries for this week, please. So we have the Eight of Cups in their energy. This person feels like you're walking away from them. They feel like you're emotionally checking out. You're emotionally disconnecting. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Aries for this week. We have the Devil. Yeah. They're not happy about it. This person still feels a very strong emotional attachment to you. So they're not happy the fact, the fact that you're distancing yourself. This person feels, um, they, they carry a little bit of an obsession over you, of you. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Aries for this week. Uh, the, the Empress in the reverse. This person recognizes that the relationship is not growing. It's not expanding between the two of you, but they still want you regardless. I also feel like this person um, has, this person doesn't nurture the relationship. They don't really support the relationship. They don't support the growth of this relationship. It just kind of looks like this person, um, their mind is not on commitment. Their mind is not on having a real equal give and take relationship with you or with anyone. Yeah, they don't really want to um, establish a serious relationship with you, but they don't. They also don't want you walking away and being with somebody else. Um, they want you in a very selfish way and in, in a, and in a very greedy way. Is what I'm getting here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to like progress or move on or get better if it's not without them they want you stuck with them is what i'm getting this is the wheel of fortune in reverse they want you stuck with them they don't want you to start a new cycle all on your own you know they don't want you to move forward and progress and um level up in your life i'm getting i'm getting like the energy of misery loves company is what I'm getting with this person, if that makes sense. Okay, 
So Aries, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to now continue in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person here. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings, feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.